how did I come up with the idea to do this? Well, I think in in I think it's fair to say that I I'd been through um, unemployment myself. Uh, at the time, I'd been working in the construction industry, and uh, obviously, when when there's uh, recessions, that's usually the first to be hit. So I actually found myself out of work. When I originally came to Ireland, I'd already had a few years' experience working in film and TV, and unfortunately, when I came here. I wasn't really able to just pick up a job, uh, even though I'd had quite a bit of experience. So what I decided to do was um, finance the production myself. And basically, I, I'm I'm not a writer. I, 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 I understand a good script when I see one, and I know how to um, develop a script. But I wanted this professionally written because I've seen a lot of scripts out there that they people were sending me scripts and I was looking at scripts and there was nothing there that really uh, grabbed me to be if, if I'm honest about it and to me the script is absolutely everything without a script you have nothing it's like building a house um, if it, it, you don't build a house without having a firm solid foundation so I, I approached Paddy who I'd worked with before and I pretty much gave him free reign on this I said, though, that I wanted this story to be about a young man's dilemma um, and it would be set in here in contemporary Ireland. And Paddy went away and came back to me a few weeks later and he actually gave me what I felt was an absolutely fantastic script, um, which, like any script, you have, it has to be developed. People, people forget this. People pick up a shoot, shooting draft uh, and they think that that's it. But what, what's actually happened is that's probably the seventh, eighth, God knows how many drafts into the script. So Paddy and I went away and we, we developed it. And eventually, a few months later, uh, we, we were ready to... We, we, I, I actually felt that we were ready to, to uh, produce something. So I started putting a team together and I was very, very happy with the crew. Um, but before I did that, it was very important for me to do rehearsals with the, with, with, with the talent. Um, and I... I, I there's a lot of actors here in Ireland and there's a lot of talented people and um, I had to I did auditions and I auditioned quite a few people for the respective roles uh, and I was very very I, I was pretty much sure by the end of the session I, I knew who, who I wanted and the the people that, that you see in the short film were, 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 the, were, were the actors that I chose and to be perfectly honest even though we're still editing it now I think they do an absolutely fantastic job. Um, so we we shot this mainly in July. There was a few extra shots that we did previous to that, which was in June, which was the shots on the beach. Um, we shot it digitally. Um, I edited it in, used to use Final Cut, but I'm actually doing uh, using Adobe Premiere for this one. And I, I've created a 2K digital intermediate from this, which I look at, at putting into hopefully into cinemas or out for um, uh, festivals and as part of that it's a 2k uh, master which which basically uh, from that I'll be able to create DVDs and blu-rays and DCPs for cinema and and so so that's basically that that's the process for me the, the crew were very were very very professional they were very good um, and we shot this mainly in in uh, in a weekend, uh, and it was it was tight, but we 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 got it done. And I was very very happy with 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 the way that every everything seemed to come together, and uh, yeah. Tabular Ass is a short film, which tells the story of two brothers, Patty and Bobby. We pick up the story twenty five years later when the brothers have parted company. One has decided to stay in Dublin. One has decided to go seek his fortune in the United States. The protagonist of the story is actually the son of the older brother, Patty, who has decided to stay in Dublin, Johnny. Johnny now has to make a decision to either stay in Dublin or to leave. So <clears throat> Tim asked me to get involved. Uh, we've done several projects together, including all of my promo videos for my books, and my novels. Tim has shot them, produced them, etc. And um, we work well together, and I was pretty excited about this project. It was Tim's idea. Uh, tabula rasa, of course, means clean slate. And so it indicates the protag's uh, dilemma 
can he start with a clean slate? Should he stay where he is? Should he try to build, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? And that idea intrigued me. I like that idea a lot. So uh, uh, three or four weeks later, I had a, a first draft script, showed it to Tim, and he was happy with it. I had some suggestions, went back and rewrote it. And uh, in about uh, two weeks after that, I guess about six or seven weeks total, we had a, a, a script that we were happy with. And Tim was happy to go forward and film it. And so that's basically how I got involved. Uh, I've been asked, how did I arrive at the ProTag? Is it a composite of persons? Is it somebody I knew for sure, for real? Not actually. It's really a composite of, of younger people here in Dublin. And um, you can see the frustration in their faces every day. Um, a lot of them have actually even given up and surrendered uh, due to lack of options. How to find a job? What do I do? Where do I go? Leaving your country to go to another country for a job is a huge step. And very, very few people do that. Despite the fact many, many people have done it, uh, total-wise out of the population, not very many people have the courage to do that. And so the young people of Ireland are very, very frustrated with the situation here in terms of jobs and the future. How do I think Irish people will react to this? Well, I hope they'll react positively. I hope that it'll focus on the message and make it clear that... Uh, the Irish government need to do more about helping young people find work in this country so they don't go away, as has been done before. Um, what do I hope to gain? Well, I hope that we can gain a clarity of the message and show that how through film we can ask questions that possibly other people don't ask, and they should, or to focus on the problems that we need to focus on. In terms of characters, uh, Johnny is the protag, but Bobby is actually modeled a bit after myself. I left Ireland in 1966, and I came back 18 years ago, not nearly 19 years now, and I sort of modeled his situation on my own. Had to go away. There was no work. There was no chance for anybody. I was 16 years old. I left and sort of got my education and made my life elsewhere, and then brought it back with me, because there was no possibility here. And so Bobby, in my mind, was where I started on the script. He was the guy who was here, from here, left, and then came back temporarily in the script. Um, and then, of course, his brother, Patty, is the guy who stayed. So that's an analysis of the characters.